know, the NSA for decades has been spying on everything the American people do. It's targeting the press, the Congress for blackmail. Everything we've told you has now come out. Of course, because it had come out before, ladies and gentlemen. There just wasn't an internet for people to learn about it. It was in scholarly books and it was in trade publications. But now the Daily Caller is reporting via DrudgeReport.com has it linked up there. So does InfoWars.com. IRS lawyer says scandal was overseen by DC. Names, names. <gasps> oh, really? Oh, the pro-life groups and the churches and the libertarian and conservative groups being harassed by the IRS and then none of the so socialist groups or communist groups or, or, or the tyrannical fake liberal groups, none of them were audited. Gee, it was ordered from on top. I, I know, you mean they lied to me? Oh, Fast and Furious wasn't meant to get our guns? And then the memos came out it was? Oh, you mean they lied to me? Do I lie to you, baby? Did I say something that wasn't true? I'm telling you, honey, would I lie to you? I don't know. Bill Clinton said, I did not have sex with that woman. How dare you? How dare you? We don't have drones watching you. It turns out they do. We're not buying billions of bullets. Okay, we are, but Jones is a kook covering it. So we bought 7,000 armored vehicles and we're training the military to take on gun owners in their own training manuals. That's not big news. How dare you be upset by it, Jones? And here it is. Oh, it's all in the subsections and the government accounting office report. It's all public now. Oh, my goodness, that they, they tagged blank checks on there to basically overthrow the entire Bill of Rights in Obamacare. Well, yeah, that's like the amnesty bill. People go, well, what does it do? Whatever they want. <laughs> it's got national IDs in it. It's got ch internal checkpoints in it. It's got, they say it's one thing. It's, an, it's a power grab. That's the nature of governments throughout history. We had a bill of rights and constitution, declaration of independence, checks and balances for a reason. Because if you don't bind down government, it will rape you financially. It will rape you societally. It will rape you culturally, and it'll finally rape you in your life. It's preposterous that this Alex Jones person is warning of a government takeover. It only happens in every other case in history, and we're only following the exact A to Z program. It's insane. Next, he'll say if you jump off a thousand-foot cliff without a parachute, you'll die. It's crazy. And now in a national survey, World Net Daily reports, six in 10 physicians said they're likely many doctors will retire earlier than planned in the next one to three years. Well, that's the plan, bankrupt the country. <clears throat> Bring in private profit, but government run healthcare where they can charge you more and give you less. It's the globalist model. All right, so that's some of what I was gonna be getting to, but I mentioned this earlier, and I'm going to show this article to you now, and we're going to play some video and audio of this put out by the ACLU. But the headline on Infowars.com is, Watch, This is Your Future, Ordering a Pizza in 2015. And it was put out by the ACLU, predicting 2015. How about 1985, 1986? How about Back to the Future? See, see, that's the thing. What I'm trying to get through to you here, this is an engineered, globalist, technocratic plan. Just Google, bankers call themselves technocrats. Bankers declare world government. You'll get Financial Times of London, Der Spiegel. You'll get Davos videos all announcing how they're going to do this. And, and let me tell you, it isn't good for you. And you're like, oh, that's that guy's opinion. This is not my opinion. It is not my opinion that most vaccines have weaponized cancer viruses added to them. Just look it up. It's not my opinion that government is debating whether putting a nanotech virus in the vaccines that will attack your brain and make you basically be emotionalist and then they're game over, they've won. This might as well be a foreign alien species running things. I'm not saying that technically, but I mean, it might as you're in a science fiction movie, people, okay? You can say the power to destroy a thing is the power to totally control it. And, and yeah, the New World Order is arrogant, folks, because they already checkmated us a long time ago. Oh, 
I, I just said it, yes. I hope that members of the establishment realize how insane this is and they're not going to get away with it because it'll come back on them. They can't beat humanity and not bring themselves down, even if they think we're all a bunch of garbage. You're getting the deep truths here. And we've already lost on this current program. If there's not a giant, if there's not a giant awakening at a grassroots level, that uh, just a convulsion, if we stay quietly on this incremental path, it's over. Now, now, look, watch. This is your future, ordering a pizza in 2015 under the NSA grid with thousands of private companies having all your private data, all of it shared. They're the ones that run the government, folks. This uh, New World Order is a private, corporate, fascist government that's anti-free market. How do you control markets, as the founder of the Rockefeller said? With government. He said, competition is a sin. Use the state to shut down competition. That's why they, the nanny state tells you to be a wimp, you to not be armed while they arm to the teeth. This is a cold-blooded takeover. Now, here's, just, just so, so we can go back, here's USA Today. Missouri tracks scoff laws via pizza delivery databases. And they say, when you call to order a pizza to any of the big three national companies, it runs through a database and with the police, and they get up to 25% or more. One company got $2 million in that year, 2003. This was in 2004. They reported just off of the money now, did anybody tell you when you, you call this is happening? See, here's, here's the ACLU telling you that this is coming. Folks, this isn't coming. See, this, none of this is my opinion. If something's my opinion, I will tell you it's my opinion. Let's go to a short clip. See, you got to come to that realization. You're not allowed. You can have your own opinion, but not your own facts, okay? I know what I'm talking about. Notice the crazy world I talked about is now all coming true. It was already true. It isn't coming true. I won't even tell you all the stuff I know because you can't handle the truth. Let's go ahead now and let's go to the short clip from the ACLU. Here it is. This is simulated call. Hello, guaranteed hot in 30 minutes or it's free. This is Mary. May I take your order? Hi, uh, Mary. Yes, I'd like to order. This is Mr. Kelly? Uh, yes. Thank you for calling again, sir. I share your national identification number is 610-204-9998-45-54610. Is that correct? Uh, Yes. Thank you, Mr. Kelly. I see you live at 736 Montrose Corp, but you're calling from your cell phone. Are you at home? I'm just leaving work, but I'm... Oh, we can deliver to Bob's Auto Supply. That's at 175 Lincoln Avenue, yes? No, I'm on my way home. How do you know all this stuff? We just got wired into the system, sir. Oh, well, I'd like to order a couple of your double meat special pizzas. Sure thing. There'll be a new $20 charge for those, sir. What do you mean? Sir, the system shows me that your medical records indicate that you have high blood pressure and extremely high cholesterol. Luckily, we have a new agreement with your national health care provider that allows us to sell you double meat pies as long as you agree to waive all future claims of liability. What? Do you agree, sir? You can sign the form when we deliver, but there is a charge for processing. The total is $67 even. $67? Well, that includes the delivery surcharge of $15 to cover the added risk to our driver of traveling through an orange zone. I live in an orange zone? Now you do. Looks like there was another robbery on Montrose yesterday. Hmm. You could save $48 if you ordered our special Sprout Submarine Combo and picked it up yourself. Comes with tofu sticks. Those are very tasty. All right, that's enough. Value too. That's but enough. Full video up on Infowars.com. Folks, look at this article right here. IRS lawyer says scandal was overseen by D.C. names names. See, there's how they use a big government control grid to persecute people and for social engineering. Same thing with the NSA. They're not angels. They've never been angels. You create a government that is super powerful, it will destroy your life, it will destroy the country, it will be taken over by criminal special interest. But this one was already built by criminal special interest who have infested our entire system. Second hour coming up, tell your friends and family to tune in now. As we saw in Katrina, and as we are watching now in New York and New Jersey, the federal government can't and won't help you in a crisis. FEMA ran out of water and MREs in days. Electricity is still off to over one million people. The Red Cross, who is quick to beg for money, is now slow to react. Don't put it off any longer. Get prepared today. While you're on InfoWarsShop.com, check out these other great preparedness items. The Aquapod Kit lets you store up to 65 gallons of water in your bathtub. Pocket Socket provides you with manual electricity for small electronics like your cell phone. 
The Life Straw is great for your bug out bag. And check out our complete line of inner food products for great tasting and nutritionally dense foods that have a great shelf life. If you are looking to secure your home in a crisis, you can order Strategic Relocations the film, a great companion to the book Strategic Relocations 3rd Edition and The Secure Home by Joel Skousen. When the time to perform arrives, the time to prepare has already passed. Get prepared now, so if a crisis strikes your home, you and your family will be secure. Go to InfoWarsShop.com. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us on this Sunday edition. Uh, in the last hour, I got into the fact that there is a technocratic elite run by the old robber barons the last hundred years who on record have basically taken over the world economy and are mopping up a few sovereign nation states uh, right now and who are uh, busy really trying to colonize the individual, trying to go in and take over uh, the mind of the individual. That is the main goal. Uh, that is taking place. And it is up to us to become aware of this and realize that this engineering is going on if we're ever going to turn things around. And I look at the general public. There's a lot of virtue left out there. But more and more people are self-centered. They're angry. They hate crowds of other people. They don't get that it's crowds of other people that have allowed there to be markets that have allowed there to be diversity in products, that have allowed there to be this complex, amazing system we live in. And it creates the illusion, because humans are so compact in cities, kind of like reefs in the ocean, most of the life is around the reefs, that we think everything has been uh, overdeveloped. Oh, development is generally not the trouble. It is disruptive technologies like GMO and the pharmacological crops and leaking nuclear reactors in, 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 in my research view, that caused the real threat, not necessarily more buildings and things. You can just put uh, greenery up on top of the buildings. You can come out with cleaner technologies. And, and there's a lot of lip service paid to that, but it's the establishment themselves in kind of a genetic race to find the, the fountain of youth uh, in kind of a, a genetic race uh, to find the latest weapon systems uh, as the globalists kind of compete with each other. They always argue that global government uh, is being pushed, that global government is being expanded uh, to stop nuclear war and stop proliferation of disruptive technologies. But then they'll block an energy system that endangers their monopoly while leaving old toxic systems in place. While meanwhile, they put out really disruptive technologies. I would say BT corn linked in major studies to killing the honeybees. I would call that disruptive. Uh, or pharmacological crops jumping into other crops and causing all sorts of problems. Uh, I, would call, I would call that uh, a disruptive uh, technology. But see, so, so they label environmentalism as pay Al Gore and the UN and the Club of Rome to breathe, pay a carbon indulgence. But the, when, when uh, trees... Uh, uh, basically, you know, need that carbon dioxide to live. That's part of the uh, life cycle. So this is the type of issue, ladies and gentlemen, that we're talking about. This is the type of uh, thing we need to think about is, is, is not just go off labels, but actually go off what things really stand for. That's what we are... That's what we are shooting for uh, in this society, is to actually have a culture. We're having our, our original cultures, our common sense, overwritten by a plastic, fake corporate culture, just as the corporate just as the corporate technocrats already took over most governments, they're now overriding the individual. And that's really my big message here that I'm begging you to look into. And the establishment says, hey, the general public doesn't want to be helped. They want to be dumb. Just look at them. But I, I know historically that if you give people the opportunity to be enlightened and, 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 and be greater, they will actually go for it. But see, that creates competition for the globalist, and they don't want that. All right, we will be right back with Pastor James David Manning. 
uh, to get his take on the whole diversion with the Trayvon Martin situation. Uh, and then when he leaves us at the bottom of the hour, we'll get into a bunch of other news inside Google X HQ, their, their grand plan, turn you into brain chipped cyborg. I didn't say that, they said it. I had tried everything. I'd cut back the amount of food I was eating. I was lifting weights and jogging, but nothing was working. My body was literally starving for minerals and trace elements as well as key vitamins. And as soon as I had that, I immediately could eat half of what I was eating previously and be satisfied. Now, there are hundreds of great products at InfoWarsTeam.com, but I want to point out the three that have helped me lose 37 pounds in just two months. Products like Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Pollen Burst, and Rebound. When I started taking the Tangy Tangerine and other products every day, I lost more than 37 pounds in just two months. Now that's results. I want to challenge my listeners to go to InfoWarsTeam.com and to order just three of their products, and you will see the changes in the way you look, feel, and in your appetite almost immediately. Start your journey to health and wellness today. InfoWarsTeam.com. Bloomberg Financial reported three years ago that in the first two years of the international banker bailout, U.S. taxpayers had to shell out 27 plus trillion dollars in different types of uh, payments. It was not just the first $886 billion. That was an open Federal Reserve window. And then there was the monetization of debt all totaled, they haven't released the numbers the last three years, uh, but I've seen news articles uh, estimating that over $50 trillion worldwide has been shelled out to private banks, media, MSNBC got some of the money, uh, major corporations got the money. And when Congress is asked over and over again uh, by the media, they say, we don't know because they've handed over their responsibility, their power over the purse to uh, the uh, Treasury and the private Federal Reserve, and I was just watching C-SPAN a few weeks ago. We played clips on air. They said, who are you giving the $85 billion a month in QE3 to? Because that devalues the currency worldwide. And they said, we're not at liberty to tell you. Kind of like Congress was just told by the NSA, Wired Magazine is reporting. We're allowed to spy without warrants. First, they lied and said they weren't. It's for your own good. And again, I, I think kidnappers ought to try that with kids in their front yard. It's for your own good. Come get in the white van. I, I mean, this is famous last words. Nixon should have gotten, you know, three or four terms then. He said, well, when the president commits a crime, it's not a crime. This is the essence of tyranny. We've been down this road over and over again. I wish people were demonstrating nationwide over that. I wish people were demonstrating over the Harvard 20-plus year study that was released last year showing a 20-point IQ reduction on average of someone drinking fluoride the first 10 years of life at the level put in tap water and a seven-fold increase in bone cancer. I'll stop there. Hundreds of things it does to you. Just type in Harvard study fluoride. You'll get Reuters. I think we should be protesting about that. Now you can watch the InfoWars nightly news streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at InfoWars.com forward slash show.